Hi, my name is Giselle Liu, traditional name Liu Bixin. I'd like to first acknowledge that I'm on the unceded territories of the Simshan Nation. I'm an MFA candidate at SFU, and my senior supervisor is Rob Kitsos. Today, I'll be sharing a presentation entitled, Our Eyes Will Adjust. I'd like to begin with a story, the story of my greatest heartbreak. In 2017, I had relapsing symptoms of a flu virus that entered my brain. I experienced memory gaps, body numbness, and interrupted cognitive functions such as speech and logic. I was on a roller coaster of emotions. Some days riddled with anxiety and other days in complete bliss. On the days of anxiety, I had one tool that would help calm me down. And it was this intentional attention to my intuitive embodied sensorial awareness. Naturally, as a movement artist, I grew curious. So I started to intentionally train this synesthetic embodied conscious way of seeing. And as my perceptions began to expand, it was as if my heart was breaking open from the inside, slowly in one crack at a time. My perceptions of my environment, both in my natural and technological world started to shift. Everything was more colorful, more entangled and a lot more interconnected. With my attention around perception and embodied seeing, I started to ask, how else can humans potentially see? French philosopher Maurice Merleau-Ponty gives us a way to think about this phenomenological embodied experience through the concept of double vision, being able to see from two selves. The first self is the self at the center, imagine a portrait photo where the subject is at the center of the universe. And the second self is this universal self zoomed out like a landscape portrait where individual subjects are nearly unidentifiable, but you can see a larger picture. With my attempts to understand these two selves, I started to research neuroplasticity and neurodiversity, embodied practices of waves and energy and telepresence and traditional indigenous and Chinese cultural practices. For my graduating project, I'll be presenting an immersive experiential live performance with live streaming, including dance, film, and new technology. The set will transform into an installation at the end of the piece so the audience can experience the work both as an observer as well as an embodied experiencer. With this research and work, I challenge the hierarchy of learning and being, especially in academic societies. I suggest that embodied practices and lived experiences are equally as valuable as cognitive knowledge. Though my art may not change the world overnight, I hope it makes my audience more curious about how humans can potentially see, and maybe we're a lot more interconnected than we think. Thank you kindly for watching and for your time.